Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, good that you have gone for your long tea break. Uh, most of you can get very angry if you are not full, right? So you eat something, it'd be good. So uh, on uh, this thing here is just some uh, da data about myself. Um, so I'm Desmond Des. Um, I want to say one thing. Is uh, Fabian here? Still here? Fabian. Mr. Fabian Loire. Uh, I think he ran TEDx uh, MIT, right? Some time ago. I want to, to uh, make a testimony that uh, that session changed my life. Mm. <laughs> so thanks, Fabian, for doing this TEDx thing. And I shared with the, the friends over there at the corner what that meant. So only those three guys know. So you've got to talk to them. <laughs> and what changed my life. So um, coming up here is, is very interesting. Um, you know, you get to be either a, a Pico star or a Micro star, you know? Micro, Mega, Pico, Micro. Right? So if you get to speak here someday, you may be a Pico star. So the rest of you who, 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 who wish to be one of them, do, do make time, talk to Hari. And um, the other important thing is that um, we, um, most, of you, most of you will spend about six hours here, I think, from somewhere 12, right, to what, six. You know, either you're really too free, nothing to do, you know, <laughs> <laughs> or you really think that TEDx can make a difference in your life, right? Um, then uh, I was very inspired by your speech, you know, about movies, right, right, Jim? Uh, fantastic, you know. Um, and um, you know the movie Inception? Inception is a, it's a very queer show. Uh, you ask 10 people, they'll tell you 10 different interpretations of that show. <laughs> but it is odd also because right in the show, the, the guy kept saying, an idea is very important. Right? All we need to do is to plant the idea into the guy and make sure he, he wakes up from the sleep in the airplane, airplane and say he will not break the empire. He will break the empire apart, right? Rather than do a, a one thing. So, even if the script keeps telling people that, you know, get an idea into him, and that idea can, can change life. Uh, uh, no, not everybody gets it. So, in other words, people see a, a movie and get different, you know, uh, sort of uh, perceptions. And, um, and this is what it is, right? Te TEDx is about ideas. And uh, we're going to spend six hours here, and some of you will walk out with no change, and some of us will walk out here with some particular change, right? So, um, I want to talk about songs, and songs are... are are part of uh, a thing that some of you may take for granted. Now imagine a world without... Sound? Sound! <laughs> Good. So um, don't take for granted sound, because uh, when you can hear you know, all the things that go with, within you, uh, it's, it's, um, it's quite serious stuff. And uh, the famous, uh, very important person, Michael Jackson, right? He, uh, he passed on. He came to Singapore you know, once, you know, Michael Jackson. And some of you do not think that stars can make a difference in your life. Wait till you see one star like Michael Jackson. When you get just close enough to see him, you know, 500 meters away in that big stage, he, he, yeah, he can move you. And in one particular song that he does, it's called Man in the Mirror. You know that song? Right? So Man in the Mirror is just an idea. But he sings the song. And, and if you don't get it, you know, it's just simply saying the world will change only with the person who looks at the mirror, which is really yourself. So a song can actually implant an idea, can do an inception on you, so to speak. Right? Um, we are the world. If you sing the song, We Are the World, it implies that you're part of the world. And the other very good song is We Are Singapore. You know the song? We are Singapore, we are Singapore. Right? It means... Uh, <laughs> We're Singapore, you know? So you've got to have the la and the whatever to top it off. So my title is a Creative Songwriting Per Specification. <laughs> okay. And what is notable about this whole, 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 whole process is the connection between everything that we have spoken from, you know, monkey business to shit to, you know, uh, great movie writing, so even Daniel's work, yeah? Daniel shared with us the, the power of the orchestras, and he talked about the power of music, uh, and how it all, all, all ties up. And uh, all of us here, you know, we'll, we'll connect in some way, uh, through the stories that we write, to the, uh, you know, the, the games that we develop down the road, and drawings that we make. And so in songwriting, uh, it's just one, one part in the many things that we do. And I'd like to just uh, do a hypothesis test. By the way, Daniel and I are, co are connected in the sense that Daniel is an engineer, right? He's it. So actually, I'm also an engineer, right? Square, you know, unimaginative, right brain, left brain? Not brain, no brain, maybe. So, uh, but uh, 
And when, by the way, going backwards, you know this thing called MIDI, MIDI, Musical in, 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 uh, Instrument Digital Interface. In 1988-87, it came about. And uh, do you know that music is one of the easiest uh, art form to computerize? Because it's all frequency and you know, volume, uh, that's about it, right? So simple. In fact, nowadays, you have software that you, when you sing into the software, you just need to say, I love you tonight. Then the software will do the job by doing, I love you tonight. You'll go up. You just shift the notes, right? You can reposition your notes. So you just need to just say that line, and you can make a song like Zoe Tay. <laughs> okay? So what are songs uh, made of? How does a song come about? Uh, is it inspiration or is it specification? So most of you are very clever people. I know that, really. You know, there's this word called hypothesis testing. Right? You test the hypothesis, right? You know, true, not true, false, things like that. Um, and there's a lot of statistics just now also on, on the screen. So my friend over there, my, my partner in not crime, but uh, we'll, show, we'll play something. How about you, you, you flick up, I like your mind. My child, can't you see? I need to know if you feel for me. For all I am is in my mind. You touch my heart with how you think. Story about Stephen Hawking, Big Bang the Musical. The girl likes his mind. Thanks. Okay. The next song, Rocking the World. Rocking the World, Rocking the World. Yeah, you're evaluating, huh? Win a prize if you guess what this is all about. Shaking the peace, we're breaking the rules, yeah, changing the world. Rock, rock it on, rock on in a song. Okay, music stop. Stop, shatter the old. Music stop, huh? So, hey, but the words you can see, this song is actually about the Six Sigma program. <laughs> huh? Good, huh? Kids la, is the mean, la, you know, the one is the variance. Uh, so so to, to put a, <laughs> a mathematical idea into a song, eh, it's quite something. Um, then the last one, best that we can be. Best that we can be. So these are three songs with different genres almost. But uh, some of you feel that maybe you know, it's only through, you, 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 know, you take a bath and you go to the toilet and then some great song comes out and then you write this thing, right? Um, but uh, I will tell you uh, quickly 
that uh, most music, as in many movies and, and some books, uh, is written because somebody said, I want it by tomorrow. <laughs> okay, right? I don't care how you do it. I want it by tomorrow. And it's going to say things like, cover love, service quality, and reliability. Okay? <laughs> I don't care how you do it. Tomorrow, I want this song because it, will, it must make the children cry. Okay? It must make the children cry eh, when they hear this song. <laughs> so, uh, basically, <laughs> actually, most good songs are written uh, uh, by pure specification, actually. Uh, be it a movie, if you write thing in, let's say, musical theatre, cry must cry, you know, the song. Fight must fight song, you know. Right? Murder song must say murder. In fact, you cannot be some bubblegum thing where the fellow is trying to die, you know. Right? So, so when you do songwriting, it's got to be really by specification. So what, what constitutes a song? So what, what makes a song? So let's show a score. A PDF file. Quick one. Quick, la, specific, specification of 40, 42 seconds left. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you found it? Any, any file, the PDF file, any more, the best that we can be, maybe. Avi? You okay? You awake? <laughs> oh, never mind. Well, if you get to show it, you will see that a typical music score has got. Wow, clever. Okay. Uh, you get things like chords. It's B flat 2, it's not a flat tire, B flat 2. They've got G minors, they've got these notes, music notes, right? They've got rhythm, they've got uh, you know, uh, time signature and so forth. So this is a typical uh, lead sheet. And what I'm trying to say is that um, to write a song, even by specification, uh, what comes first, right? There's so many elements. I would say that um, it depends. You know, if somebody says, I want a fight song, you probably want to have a jang, 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 some things first. So you might want to come up with chords and moods. Right? If you want to do a song that talks about saving the world, you might want to start with a title. Right? Best that we can be was written because the Paralympians from Singapore went there. When I worked with the, para, the, the, the handicapped people, they don't, want, they don't want your pity, you know? They just want to say, I'm, I got one leg, I run with one leg. La. You got two legs, you run with two legs. La. So what's the problem? You know? it's, it's just a continuum, I call it the continuum of abilities. You know? One hand, do one hand thing. La. Two hand, two, two things. Two hand things. So it's, they, 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 they thought that way. So it was uh, the title that came out first. So I would just uh, like to end this session by saying that um, creativity actually can be specified. And I would say I'd rather be an effective engineer, means uh, customizing your, your work to a particular goal, than to be simply a creative songwriter. You know? Be a, an effective songwriter than a creative songwriter. Thank you.